Today, I'm going to take you along for part one of our classroom makeover. If you're new here, my name is Melody Munch. I taught second grade for eight years, and now I am currently a full-time classroom resource creator. When I was in the classroom, one of my favorite things to do was to create resources that would engage my students and increase their learning. And one of the ways I did that was actually in how I set up the classroom. I really wanted to create an environment that was warm and inviting and felt somewhat like home to just really get the students looking forward to walking into the room every single day. It was a second home for me as well since I spent a lot of time in my classroom and I just really wanted to love being there. So creating classroom decor was a passion project of mine and I recently just created a new classroom decor line that we called the cottage garden decor line or cottage garden collection i absolutely love how it looks i set up a mock area in my office so i could give teachers an idea of how they could kind of piece things together and what everything would look like and i just had this longing to help a teacher put this up inside their classroom because i really, really would love to bless another teacher and see this theme come to life in person. I'm so honored every time I see teachers tag me in photos online or tell me how much they're loving using the different pieces, but I just wanted to be a part of actually putting it inside a classroom. So we decided to offer local teachers this cottage garden classroom makeover. What that meant is that Teachers who lived within two hours of us could apply on a Google form to receive this makeover with our help putting together this theme inside their classroom. We are gonna help them print a lot of the items. They're responsible for printing certain things that they need to customize. And then we're coming to their room to help them set everything up. And in addition, we're giving them $1,000 that we can put towards decorating their classroom, flexible seating, and things that would just make their classroom a home for their students. Unlike other classroom makeovers, we are not a huge company putting this on. It's really just me behind my brand, Mrs. Munch's Munchkins. My husband, Nick, is going to be helping with this a bit as well, especially when it comes to assembling furniture. He is much more gifted and quick in that area than I am, so he is going to be a huge help. My mom has also volunteered to come from Kansas City where she lives down to Tulsa to help with this day, which is so sweet of her. So we're gonna just have our family on deck just helping out putting this together with the teacher that we selected as our winner. So it's not a huge team of people that I have coming in and doing this makeover and then revealing it to the teacher. It's more boots on the ground, just getting this makeover done in two days time, although I am going up early today, which I'm going to show you to drop off some items and talk through the plan with the teacher we selected. And just to get a space sense of the room so that I can maybe adjust the plan that I have laid out if I get to the room and realize there might be something better we could do. I also might take some measurements so that's gonna be kind of a bonus day, but I'm only planning to be in her room for about an hour. We had so many amazing applicants and I wish we could give every single one of them the classroom makeover that they deserve, but unfortunately there's just one of me, so I can only do so much, but I am so excited about the winner that we picked. I didn't even realize when we picked her that she was a first year teacher. We had several first year teachers apply. I really went off of the dates these teachers were available for me to come in and help them based off of where they lived so that I knew I could get to them easily. And then I looked at some classroom photos that I had them turn in to kind of look at which room I thought we could really transform and could really use this classroom transformation the most. And the teacher's room that we selected is just the perfect blank slate. It is all concrete walls, which I've experienced before, and that can make setting up decor a tad difficult, but I know it can be done. And she happens to be a first year teacher, so 
she is starting fresh so i think that's really cool that we can just start her teaching career with this blessing and hopefully she and her students will absolutely love it i'm about to head up to her classroom to drop off some of the things we've gotten so far take a look at the room and meet her and I'm gonna take you along with us. We have been printing a lot, a lot, a lot. Here are some number lines that I might have Nick cut out. He's really good at making sure they're even. We still have a few things on the wall over here. I did take some things down that I'm gifting as part of the makeover to the teacher that I didn't want to have to reprint. The birthday area was a lot of tedious cutting, so that is one thing I wanted to make sure I transferred over to that teacher. I did print out new alphabet letters. I thought about just taking these down, but I wanted to make sure the paper was all a match, and I think I used different paper up there than I don't, I don't have any more of it now, so I went ahead and printed new ones. This bulletin board is something I don't know where it's going to go inside the teacher's classroom. So that is one thing I'm looking for today. I don't know if she maybe has a hallway bulletin board and we could set it up there and I would print it larger or if maybe we could do it on her door. We're just going to kind of talk through and see what we think is best. I also need Nick to take down these clock labels. She has a clock in her room and I don't really need this one that isn't even telling the correct time. It's just however it was programmed. We never even put a battery in it. So I don't really need this display up here on my wall so i'm gonna have him take that down so we can put that in her room we have been busy cutting and laminating all the things the past few days just trying to make a plan i've got a google doc with kind of where the general plan for a lot of that to go is here is the beautiful plan so far We've got kind of each item in the decor pack and where I think it could work going based on the photos I have of her room. But again, I'm gonna bring this with me today and we might be able to kind of work out what could work best. There's already a lot of good stuff in my car, but these are other things I'm gonna stick in there to bring up to the school today. Lots of little things from different Amazon orders, and then some of the bigger things I'll leave out so that Nick can assemble them at home before we go back to the school on Monday. Been opening a lot of boxes lately. I had probably triple this amount in here earlier, and I already took them out to our recycle bin once, so now I've gotta do this set. Okay, I just met Emily, say hi. hi. We're so excited. Her classroom already is so cute, but it's going to be even cuter in a few days time. So we just kind of talked through our plan and I think we're ready to go. Yay. Here is a closer look at Emily's room. It really has good bones with some nice carpet and cabinets and white walls and a window. However, as I mentioned earlier, there is concrete walls, so we'll have to work around that, but I think we've got a pretty good plan and we can't wait to get started. While I was in the classroom with Emily, we talked through all the different pieces and where things will go, and then we went ahead and unloaded some different items like this nugget couch. This is a spendier purchase for a classroom, but I found it to be well worth it in my own classroom and it's very durable. You can wash the cushions and it's just one of those items students absolutely love. Then we stacked up some other items and now we're ready to see you in part two.